minutes, you know. You know, coach does a great job of pushing all our guards to kind of you know, challenge each other, you know. My minutes aren't guaranteed. I'm a senior, you know what I mean? So if somebody, Josiah, or if somebody came in and played better than me, then they're going to play those minutes, and coach doesn't care. You know what, what what class you're in or whatever. So you know it's always a challenge. You know to, to kind of come in and, and, and win somebody's minutes and kind of prove that you know you should be on the floor. How much do you think it helps that you guys that the team has you and Val who have kind of been through a lot of these sports as they try to figure out some of these other pieces and moving parts? Yeah, it helps a lot. You know, and, uh, to have two guys like me and Jordan, you know, that they kind of been there to kind of help the guys understand, you know, uh, what it's going to be like in those moments, you know. Um, when those guys get nervous, they can look at us and kind of, you know, see how, how we're handling things. And, you know, we can kind of help calm those guys down and stuff like that. So I think that's big. Um, like I said, I think we came out with some nerves today. But I think, you know, because of me and Jordan kind of being like veteran guys, we had a chance to calm those guys down and kind of get everything flowing. What are some of the things you've told them just about what to expect and, you know, what the season's about to start? Yeah, I mean, you know, just I just tell them to come out and do their job, you know. Um, when you're a young guy, you kind of come out focusing on the wrong things. You can focus on scoring or, you know, making a highlight play or something like that. But when you focus on doing the things you do every day in practice, you know, um, just doing your job and having your brothers back, I think it takes the stress. It takes the stress off the other things that you're focused on. And when you do that, I think you, you give yourself a chance to see. Lamonte, with your increased leadership role, have you had to maybe be a voice to check anyone to say, look, it's not the way we do it at Tennessee. Is there any any of that tough leadership that we had to do with any of the new guys so far? I mean, yeah, um, every day, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm their biggest fan, but I'm also their biggest critic, you know. And I think you have to do that. Um, as, as a leader, you know, to kind of get, get the reaction you need out of certain guys. Some guys need different kind of kind of um, leadership. You know? We definitely have some guys that need to be kind of yelled at and kind of like criticized and stuff like that. And so um, I've had to do some of that, yeah. Well, my you got four freshmen who have played in this game and, you know, guys like Jalen played a bigger role. Just how valuable is it going to get to get this film and watch it tomorrow? How much can you learn? Uh, we can learn a lot. Um, you know, we, we're going to watch them and, you know, Coach, we're going to watch it for hours. and. You know, he's going to watch the game probably three or four times a night. So, um, you know, just to come out and kind of, you know, get an idea of what it's going to be like, you know, Tuesday to come out and, and our first real game of the season. Um, I think this, this is going to be good for us this week because, you know, we, we didn't really box out well. I think we struggled uh, boxing out uh, on the free throw line, stuff like that. Coach wasn't happy about the offensive rebound. So uh, to have this film to kind of know what we need to work on going to our first game, uh, it, it, I think it's going to be good for us as a team. Does he ever call you while he's watching, like before you get together the next day? Is that ever happened? Coach calls me all the time, and you know he'll say little stuff like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he called me tonight and say, man, you can't, you're senior, man, you can't turn the ball over. You know, he, he might, you know, he always say something. He, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, coach never surprised me anyway. You know, because his mind is always wondering. What's it like playing with a guy like George? I mean, when you got, I know, Rick said you guys haven't been able to be on the floor together a lot here in practice at the same time. So what's that? I mean, what's it like playing with a ball handler, a creator like that? You guys can kind of share the role. Josiah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's fun playing with Josiah because you know I can take the ball, he can take the ball, and um, I know when he takes it, there's no let up. You know, he knows when I take it, there's no let up. You know, we we don't worry about each other as far as handling the ball. I got confidence in him, he has confidence in me, and uh, he gives me a chance to kind of get off the ball and kind of you know not have to worry about bringing the ball up against pressure every time. You know, so it's good like to have another ball handler on the floor. It's kind of like me and me and Bone did last year. What kind of a look in practice does Victor Bailey give you guys? Yeah, Victor is a, is a really good guard. He's really fast, really athletic. Um, you know, he can, in scout, he can be the role of the whoever, what score, you know, uh, we need to kind of imitate or whatever. And uh, I think he's, he's developing. He's going to be a really good player for us. But he, he definitely gives us, as a guard, you know, a good look of the team. As a leader, how much have you had to kind of put your arm around Eurosh and say, hang in there, you know, while you guys play the waiting game for him? Yeah, I texted him last night, you know, because um, I know how it is, you know, with the NCAA and things like that. And I know it can be frustrating, you know, practicing every day and not being able to be out there with your teammates. So you know, I just told him to keep his head up, man. And um, I feel like God's will will be done. You know, if it's, if it's meant for him to play this year, then it'll happen. Um, but, you know, I, I've been uh, in his ear, you know, trying to keep him up. But he's done a great job, man. You know, he's he's a pretty mature kid. He's done a great job, you know, kind of, you know, um, like being a good like like teammate, you know, tapping guys on and stuff like that. So I don't think it's bothering them too much. What's your kind of mindset with dealing with some of these kind of newcomers on the team? Because I know that for the past couple of years, y'all have kind of known more or less what you were going to get from everybody every day. And now you maybe are not sure. How, how do you go about kind of with those freshmen knowing that sometimes you got to tell them they got to do more, but they're also freshmen? Yeah, um, at least you got to have a balance, you know, knowing that they are freshmen. But 
they got to play this year, you know. Um, we need them. So um, I think sometimes, you know, I, I yell at them and sometimes I pick them up, you know, you know, um, just because, like, you can't just yell at like they're freshmen, so they got they need to be encouraged and they want to they want that acceptance. They want to know that you know I believe in them and stuff like that. And so you know I give them that as well. Um, and as a leader, you gotta know that balance. But uh, it's been interesting, you know, kind of learn guys' habits and kind of what guys do every day. But um, I think as a leader, I've done a great job of you know just trying to trying to do that and encourage my teammates. I was about to say, but for you and Bound, it's your last ride. So I mean, it's like you you know you want to give them some patience, mm -hmm. but also you kind of want to be like. Like, yeah. Let's go. This is this is a good team. Yeah, definitely. And we tell them that, you know, like this our last year. You know, you got you got to come on and bring bring it. You know, um, Kentucky have five six freshmen every year, so that that doesn't excuse you. You know, what I mean, you can come in and do the same thing. And uh, I've told my guys that, and they've done a great job of responding. So that's been awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.